Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Mihai Spranchog. I'm a family medicine resident at the University of Toronto. Today I'm on elective at the Waterloo Sports Medicine Clinic and I'm going to be doing an educational video on Achilles tendinopathy. Uh, to further demonstrate, uh, we're going to be doing the heel drop protocol for which my significant other, Rufana, has graciously uh, donated her time. So here we have a depiction of the Achilles tendon and the surrounding anatomy. The Achilles tendon is the strongest and thickest tendon in the entire human body. We can see here where it inserts into the calcaneus or the heel bone at the very back of the foot and all the way up into the gastrocnemius and the soleus aka the calf muscles. There is surrounding bursae not depicted in the diagram here as well as some microvasculature, some small blood vessels surrounding the Achilles itself. For the purposes of our video, we're going to be talking about Achilles tendinopathy as a whole with reference to overuse. And this presents as a gradual developing pain in the Achilles. It may be associated with stiffness after changing activity levels. And there are modalities available to help attenuate the Achilles tendinopathy, including heat as well as gentle stretching, walking, and the heel drop protocol we're about to demonstrate. So to initiate the heel drop protocol, you're going to need a step as shown here. You begin with both feet at a neutral position on the step and then you subsequently raise both of your heels at the same time. You bend the unaffected knee first and then slowly lower the affected knee and ankle below the neutral point. So let's look over here, raise both of the heels up, bend the knee, a slow eccentric motion downwards, followed by a return to neutral. In terms of how often to perform the Achilles heel drop protocol, the number of exercises includes three sets of 15 repetitions in one sitting. People do this twice a day for seven days a week for a total of 12 weeks total. In terms of progression through the protocol, the patients perform the exercises until their tendinopathy pain becomes lessened. They can further add progressively heavier loads as seen here with a weighted vest in order to increase the difficulty and further move along the exercise program. So in summary, we reviewed the heel drop protocol uh, as one of the modalities that is pivotal for the rehabilitation process of Achilles tendinopathy. So I'd like to thank you for watching our video and I'd like to give a big shout out to the Waterloo Sports Medicine Clinic. So in summary, we reviewed the heel... Review. He's laughing at me. Okay, it's gonna be a blue for real. I'm <laughs> sorry.